guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Sofia and today we are starting with the first reading vlog of the year and I'm so excited because I'm picking up one of your favorite books, one that has been recommended everywhere and also I've seen it everywhere on bookstagram and on booktube and that is from Blood and Ash by Jennifer R. Armentrow. Before starting and saying anything on my thoughts, I wanted to thank Mary. She gifted this to me as a Christmas present. So thank you so much, Mary. Um, I hope you like the books that I sent to you too. Uh, she's just so kind. I'm just so glad she picked this one up because I really wanted to read it. Hear me out. I was gonna start this blog explaining what I knew about the book, but I'm gonna be honest, I started yesterday and I'm already 300 pages in and I cannot stop reading. Like, the book is high fantasy. It's about freaking vampires, which no one, like, why does no one talk about that? Because if I knew it was about vampires, I would probably start it earlier. <laughs> why no one told me? But yeah, like, I was reading and in the middle of it, I was like, they were talking about sucking blood and mark like bite marks and i was like is this vampire because they are not called like that they are like vampire like creatures the main girl is called poppy and she's this chosen this maiden holy figure kind of thing where no one can talk to her no one can uh, touch her and no one can see her face so her face is like covered from half up with a veil at all times and only a few people can look at her face which interesting because her life sounds so boring she's basically locked in her room like 24 7 except sometimes like she can go on a walk and she you know likes to break the rules so one day she just sneaks out of the castle to these like tavern where basically people go to like gumball play cards and like find pleasure if you know what i mean and she meets this guy called hockey yes you heard me right i just call him Hockey. I don't even have an excuse. It should be easy. Hawk. The nod. My brain saw that E the first time I read the name and now it's Hockey and I cannot change it. So I'm sorry. I'm gonna pronounce it wrong for the whole video. Classic me. <laughs> it's a royal card. From that we go on. How have I read 200 pages? First, it's so addicting. I don't know what it is about. I think it's Jennifer all Armentro writing. I've read books by her before and they were all so freaking addicting. So I just think it's her writing or the expectation as I've heard so many things about these. I think that's what it's keeping me going because the first hundred pages are quite slow, super slow. <laughs> and they are so info dumped to you. It's not about the romance because in the first pages, uh, Hoki, which is the main guy, appears like once and then we have another like 200 pages of information and nothing much happens there was this the right choice to start the year probably yes i was getting myself into a reading slump that i didn't need it so this is perfect for that but no because i have exams but i'm probably gonna finish either today or tonight i'm currently on page 269 chapter 18 and I read nearly half the book. I feel like I need to justify why I'm enjoying reading the book because yeah there's always that talk of like trashy romance fantasy novels and how I feel like I have to justify when I read these books and I shouldn't if it's something I like and I know why I like it and I know that it, it's not the best piece of literature. A lot of people love it and we know why we like it so yeah let's continue. There has been more interaction between the two and I'm really enjoying it. It's funny, it's witty. Uh, the vampire thing is going strong now. I have this belief. It's it's predictable AF. Like, <laughs> there's no other way of saying it. Also, true a warning for abuse, physical and mentally, and sexual too. There's sexual harassment in the book, which I wasn't expecting. But one thing I wasn't expecting is how strong of a female Poppy is. So, what it's called, like, Lady. Lady in distress, I don't know how to call it. So yeah, like the typical female that we see in classic literature from the past where she just needs to be saved by someone. And I'm saying she because it was normally a female. And even though the beginning of the book is quite heavy on plot and world building, it's not too immersive. There has been a lot of info, but we don't know much about the world. Like when they talk about this kind of forest and this mist that is going on in the book. I don't know what they are talking about. <laughs> I like where this is going. <laughs> I'm filming a reading vlog. <laughs> you want to talk? 
What are you reading? Hush hush. Hush hush. But what other books did I give you? Throne of Glass. Something about a mystery. I don't remember. Oh, uh, we were liars. We were liars. If she reads Throne of Glass, my happiness just like. Psh. But I don't know if I'm gonna like it. You have to like it. No, that's what you think. <laughs> She doesn't like Throne of Glass, we still have a good heart, so <laughs> I'm I happy about romance. that. Those are romance. You have read a lot already. How much percent of romance do you in Throne, Throne of, of Glass? Glass <laughs> in the first book? Not fair. You're giving me a shit first book? Yeah, you are. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> you don't like the romance in it? I don't like the first two books of that So series. I'm not gonna like it. Why did you give it to me? Maybe you like it. I just can't tell you that I will try. Okay. But if I don't We like still it. have Akutar. If she doesn't like it, we still have Akutar. She might like Akutar. Though, in Akutar, you have to go through the first book and then the second one, it's amazing. Is there romance? Yes, it's romance! Okay, that's all I need. 80% of the book is romance. 80 is... It's a lot! It's not. I need more. She needs like 99% romance. Yeah, 110%. 100%? No, 110. 110? At least. Then hash hash is not for you either. She just... Like, slice him like a piece of meat, like a chicken. She was like, chuk, chuk, chuk. <laughs> What am I reading? I Whoa. <laughs> I was not expecting that. He's getting a spicy, that's all I'm gonna say. What the hell? <laughs> what am I reading? What even am I reading? I don't know. This is a crackhead vlog. I'm so sorry. I'm probably gonna finish right now and order the second book. Because I need it. I don't know how I feel about him, but I know how I feel about her. So, have I spent all day in the bed reading? Yes. <laughs> what was gonna happen happened. Oh my god, I have like, I'm on page 523. I'm on page 523, I have like this much left. What? Hockey. How should I feel about you? But I do miss some like development in second characters. I really like Twenty, her uh, friend of the main girl, and also Victor. I I'm probably pronouncing all these names wrong, but I love them. But I wish they had a little bit more of development, and it would have been perfect. It is enemies to lovers. At the beginning, I thought it was just like them falling in love, but it is kind of enemies to lovers. Uh, though it's not like super angsty, if I if I can say so, it's just. As I was saying, I did finished it last night and whoa i can only say this book was a roller coaster but let's start from the beginning the things i like the things i didn't enjoy first of all this is what i call not trashy reading but super entertaining smutty read if that makes any sense it's marketed like that so i said in the beginning of the blog i didn't want to give a reason why i like reading this book i think everyone reads whatever they want my biggest problem in the whole book was Poppy and the world building. Poppy is super connected, it's a character that is super connected to the world building as we don't know nothing about her, but all about her is world building related. What is a maiden? We don't know. Why she was chosen a maiden? We don't know. What the hell is an ascension? We don't know. What happened in the ascension? We don't freaking know. And why do we not know that? Because Poppy herself doesn't know what the hell. Let me tell you, she cannot talk with anyone. She cannot show her face to anyone. She's been basically trapped her whole life, but she sneaks out all the time. She's like this rebellious kid that she thinks she has a choice in whatever she does, and she does, but those two like personality traits didn't match because if you, for me, if you, you want to like break the rules, you're gonna do it like 100%, no, you're not gonna like come back to your room and be like, oh no, now I have to be the maiden so I cannot ask questions to anyone. What? 
the whole plot the whole book we are in the mind of Poppy and most of the pages are her thinking about the world but not actually giving us information my overall impression about the writing Jennifer on Armentrow writing it's so addicting the way she writes the conversation between their characters chef kisses <laughs> it was the most entertaining part like conversation between Hawk and Poppy. The writing is amazing. The world building, even though it's like a romance book, it wasn't like left out. Though it is not as complex as maybe other books. Now, my favorite part. <laughs> Poppy and Hawk interactions. We go into the second part of the book, the second half, which was amazing. We get more action scenes. We get to see Poppy in action. We get to see Hawk in action too. In other kind of settings. It's not the type of enemies to lover that I want to kill you, it's just they push and pull a lot in their conversations, but I don't think it's like hate to love, not in one point. She hated him until the ending. The fact that it's like predictable doesn't mean it wasn't enjoyable. Uh, the last sentence in the book was like absolutely a cliffhanger just so for you to buy the second book you are really into the couple and i am i'm emotionally invested now so yeah i will summarize this as kind of disturbing world building poppy is really badass but also at the same time really stupid at some points i don't know how to feel about hawk till the end and then at the end everything is confusion i was sure what was gonna happen a hundred percent of the time in the beginning i was confused in the middle of the books it was painfully obvious what was gonna happen and in the end i was just confused i don't know what was happening they were fighting and then they were kissing and then i don't know what was happening and then that last sentence and then the cliffhanger and oh, psh, i just need the second book i really need the second book <laughs> but it's a perfect book for a reading slump if you want something easy like i binge read a 600 page book in two days which that never happens so yeah i liked it i gave it a four out of five stars and i'm gonna think a little bit more about it till i write my review on goodreads that's all i got for you <laughs> uh before you go please tell me in the comments if you want to read it if you've read it uh please don't spoil it to anyone if even if you're grinding a spoiler write like spoiler big old big old spoiler uh first and then write the comment so other people don't get spoiled uh please give it a like comment subscribe all the pretty things you can do that really help my channel grow if you want to keep updated with my reads i post daily on my bookstagram and you can add me on goodreads as well we can be friends there as always, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.